Hello everyone, my name is Bradley. I'm a Brad Tuesday Music, and it's time for another edition of Reacting to Real Music. Man, rap today for me. Oh, sucks bad. I don't give a bad. I don't give a bad. Aye, 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 spitting no type of dope. Bad, 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 but that's not even the bad, bad part. Bad, They're not even bad, saying bad, words bad, anymore. Bad, they just got a hard ass beat. Yo, 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 no mumbo jumbo, yo, we making the gumbo gumbo with your gung ho, dumb ho, whoa, Colombo, Colombo gungo, lyrical miracle. Now a little bit of background, of course. I, I guess apparently in part of this, uh, this uh, label formed by Young Schmoobin called Flex Entertainment. Pretty much everyone signed to this label is on the uh, wiki for the worst music of all time list, you know. Including me, Big Baller B. I am also on this list. So, <laughs> now, of course, it's under my contract that I have to listen to some of this real music that's being put in front of me. You know, young schmoobin. His rapping voice is unbearable and very annoying. He uses way too much auto tune, and many of his, his songs. lyrics suck. Mostly talking about how he has lots of money and subscribe. His mixing is awful with the vocals being a lot louder than the instrumental. Lil Flexer. His lyrics revolve around stupid topics like ice, memes, and Gucci. He supports the new direction of rap music. He was inspired by Lil Pump and Uncle Adams. Supports bad rappers like Logan Paul and Uncle Adams. He uses way too much auto tune to the point you can't understand what he's saying. His beats are atrocious and terribly produced. And uh, today, Lil Mosquito Disease. Now, Lil Mosquito Disease is notorious for releasing some terrible music last year. I mentioned it in my uh, worst songs list. Uh, Captain Out of Tune by Lil Mosquito. No, come on. Like, nobody should hear a song like this and take it seriously. Coming for Tall Bad Class. Captain Out of Tune. It was a song that was so bad that it couldn't make a worse list. It just couldn't. There's there's no way. And now he comes out with a full album and he sent me 74 Discord messages that I need to listen to it. And so under my contract, I'm obligated to listen to this project and uh, give my completely unbiased opinion. It's called Infection. So let's give it a try. Uh, first song intro. Turn this out, freezing cold, but... That's it. Next song, Mosquitoes. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. You don't have to be a music expert to know that these vocals were not properly mixed. Um, yeah, that, uh, ooh. Uh, next song, uh, Lean In My Cup. Why is this 21 tracks? Lean in my cup, lean in my cup. Just another really bad little pump impression. Why do I associate with these people? Why is this guy's name next to me? On associated acts on worse music, okay? Big Baller B is a solo musician. I produce, I write, actually, I do everything. I've done everything. This label's literally done nothing for me. Just never ends, man. Next song, Hit with the Mac, featuring Lil Taco and 6 9 You hear the fact they still has the metronome in the background? That is sloppy, man. This is mixed. Too I hate that this made me laugh even at all. You look like a deer. You like a beer. You think you got a beer. You still hear the metronome in the background, man. Try six nine if you wanna die. I'll 
Next one, anime narrator. Uh, this this was a single pr previously released. Hey, what the fuck is in the ring right now? I have a migraine, man. Yo, yo. Song is yo, called Hardcore. Yo, huh? Huh? Yo, yo. Bitch, I'm hardcore. Bitch, I'm, bitch, I'm hardcore. Bitch, I'm hardcore. Bitch, I'm, bitch, I'm hardcore. I throw up in your hood with the extendo. Y'all two bitch still using it mode. I got the keys of CD. It's really something right here, man. What am I doing, man? <laughs> it's a banger featuring Young Schmoobin. I'm guessing Young Schmoobin produced this. This sounds like something he would make. It's the first listenable track. The next song, Captain Out of Tune. Of course, I've heard this song. Share it in context of this sh <laughs> Captain Out of Tune Part 2. Four minutes long. He's got a lot of features. Hey, hey, hey. One sec, you guys. I gotta make a call. Yo. Yo. Yo! Yo. Hey. Yo, what's up, dude? Hey. Yo, what the hell is what's wrong up? with you, dude? What's up with that what? project, dude? What is that, ish? Dude. What's on you right now? What is he even saying? They're not even saying words anymore. I know for a fact nobody know what the f these dudes be saying. Dude, Schmoobin. Schmoobin is moving, dude. Dude, Schmoobin, man. The only talented member besides me. There's AJ with the awful production. The man likes Lil Xan. And the dude copies uh, Travis Scott. No beef, of course. But yes, beef. I will get in a fight with you. Don't come in. That, that was that was way too long. Schmoobin did great. Schmoobin did surprisingly good. He sounded great over this. I would love to see him do that more often, but uh, besides Schmoobin, that was terrible. Uh, no. 
Next song, Bitch, This Is A War Zone, featuring Yoko Ono interlude. Really? Really? Huh? It's a war zone! Men flashing their guns and balls. Women looking like Bob. The what? The what? The what? The what? No, that was hmm. little mosquito disease and little Jurgens slide on the block. Yo, this flex entertainment bitch, we taking over the world, boy. We got the homies, boy. We got the rock game. Slide on the block, slide on the block, slide on the block, shoot you down with the clock. Slide on the block, slide on the block, slide on the block, shoot you down with the clock. Five nine, we got our good new year bitches on menu. I fuck your bitch back in the bed with my cunning name for it. Oh my god. Uh, next song, Trombone Attack. Official music video. Like, this looks good. Mosquito disease, bitch! When I pull up on your block with the glove, bitch! Fuck all y'all, I've been making money, you can't stop me! I don't know what's happening anymore. That was definitely the most entertaining song. Images of just cars and mosquitoes. Oh, f Christ. Oops, I accidentally didn't want to download that to my library. Didn't want to do that. Uh, next song, Mosquito Cheeto. <laughs> Song is five minutes long. It's five minutes long. It's. Oof, I'm gonna die early, aren't I? Trombone be stimulated. I mean, I will give it one thing. It has a lot of diversity. That's probably the one positive. Despite all the random bulls. I've still managed to find this an interesting project. It's kind of tough to turn away from, which I think a good meme album does. If you're gonna make an album that is a joke, at least I hope this is a joke, then at least, you know, make it interesting. And I'd say that this succeeds in that, in that specific category. <laughs> Aliens Like Me featuring Submarine Man. I've never actually heard anything from Submarine Man. I've just heard that he's one of the worst artists of all time. He's on the worst music wiki. He's, a, he's apparently on our label, and he's the most popular member, except for me, Big Ball of Beat. Hey, 
Wow, they were not kidding. That is actually unlistenable. Wow. Holy crap, that is bad. My ears are suffering. I think that was Submarine Man, yeah. Wow, that is bad. Like, I'm actually surprised. Jesus. Next song. Bitch, I'm the best featuring Lil Flexer. <laughs> I honestly like this production a lot, even though it's not well done, I just love how funny some of these samples are. Like, like the Wii Resort, like that's hilarious. I mean, it's just Wii Resort with like just a ton of bass and kick drums, you know? It's all you need. <laughs> I'm gonna just say here, I've given it some thought. This is, out of all the meme albums I've heard this far, thus far, this is my favorite, without a doubt. I think that this is the most focused and the most clean of the meme albums. Lil Mosquito Disease has a sound, he knows what to do with it, and he does different things with it. It's a mess, it's a disaster of an album, but it's funny. It's got tons of versatility. This thing may suck, maybe a crapshoot, but the fact that it's so entertaining for this kind of novelty genre makes it a success. The fact that I've laughed at all of this makes me the loser here. This is impressive. I hate to say it, this is impressive. I've literally been tortured throughout the entire duration of this album, but I'm coming out smiling. That's, that's cool. 17 tracks in, 17 tracks. And this is fun. Just boost up the volume. Like in this short duration, a lot's happened. And that's what I asked for for a meme album. If you're gonna make a sh fest, make it entertaining. I like that. I hated it, but I liked it. Next song, Clap Your Cheeks Like D DK. Clap Your Cheeks Like DK featuring Lil Mary K. I got that money in the bank. Be the vows or squash you like a tank. But boy, me, I got rap and take the bus. We probably don't want this real tough. Swag, 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 swag. Show no B, man. Swag. What? My boy, little Mirka. Well, I've got to say, traps, they're pretty fucking gay. Well, there's no hate to break this, but, buddy, you're fucking gay. <laughs> Why is this just like having a conversation? <laughs> That's it? Oh, God, Jesus. A mukbang Minecraft freestyle featuring little body pillow. Some of these names, man. Some of these names. They're not even saying words anymore. Dumbass is like you. This really kind of feels like a freak circus. What's weird is these features, they're all kind of unique in a way, which is kind of impressive, even if it is kind of just a crapshoot. Like Lil Flexer, you can identify Lil Flexer. I got all the Gucci. Everyone has that distinct quality about them, which is actually kind of nice. I, I do like that. Uh, we wanted Sweet Victory featuring Adam Levine. How you gonna put pitch correction over pitch correction though?
that kick drum is so funny. That Adam Levine sample, that is hilarious. That is a really funny track. Last song, Iced Out Outro, featuring Lil Taco. The sample choice is here, really something. It's not a strong outro. I just don't think this is a good way to end the album. I spoke too soon. Okay. So that was Infection by Lil Mosquito Disease. And I'm impressed. Lil Mosquito Disease has a style like no one else. This is a crapshoot. Like, like it's, it's like junk. This is borderline junk. But a meme album. Like, if we're just saying pure enjoyment, it's exciting. Like, it's actually kind of impressive. I think that the middle section of this album, like, definitely way better than, like, front or back. But the samples are memey as hell. I think that it picks up in terms of just being entertaining. And I made it through 21 tracks and I'm not like, like I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the length of this album. This was fun. This was a really fun project. I mean, say what you want about, you know, meme rap, but this is quite inspirational for starting a new wave of meme rap. In terms of these projects go, this is pretty impressive. I mean, yes, if you listen to this thing, and you go in, and you're looking for good music, you're not gonna get what you want. I don't know what it is. I like the lyrics. Like, I just like this persona. Like, it's got attitude, it's got energy. I mean, the mixing here is so bad that it, it's insulting. But it's hilarious in its, in its effort, because he kind of just knows how bad some of this shit is. Like, it was clear that even though there was little effort put into this, there was a lot of effort put into this. And I do mean that. I mean that full-heartedly. I give this album a 2 out of 10 in terms of music, but in terms of enjoyment, I give it a, a 7 out of 10. Which is the only score that matters. Enjoyment. I enjoyed this thing. A lot. I don't know, I don't know why. But it tortured me, and sometimes that's what I like. My name is Bradley. I have a Brad Taste of Music. And uh, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe, hit notifications, and yeah, check out my Discord. Uh, you know, if, if you're lucky, maybe you'll get signed to Flex Entertainment like me, uh, which I'm very happy to be signed to, by the way. I'm very lucky, very fortunate to have gotten that. But yeah, uh, peace out.